Bonjour to le monde. Jennifer here. Hello everyone. And we are in for video number three in my series of cleaning out my aunt's house. So this one may be longer than the others. Grab a snack, grab a drink, come on back. Okay, so we've got outdoor setting. I'm on my balcony again. It's a beautiful morning. Um, if the camera just shook the cat, Otis. Otis just did a big jump from the table here beside me. Um, I'm going to do one half of the Christmas sweaters today. If you saw any of my previous videos, and I'll link them below, I think I have probably 40-ish yeah <laughs> Christmas sweaters so um we'll do half of that today how about that I'm trying to get all of these recorded before I leave for France on Wednesday today is Friday so I'm like because as I record them I put them like right now they're all sitting in my living room all this stuff is sitting in my living room and I really want to get it put away before I leave. So I am recording and then getting it into my workroom, um, my eBay Mercari workroom. So that's why I'm like cranking these things out. Um, if you're new here, hi, my name is Jennifer. I am a full-time French teacher who obviously has the attention span of a squirrel, a car just rode by behind me and I had to go look at it. I mean, like, <laughs> squirrel. Um, it is, it's a truck, it's an old beat up truck. Anyway, I'm sorry. It's always like this with me. Um, airplane, I live like two miles from the airport. You hear this? Anyway, it's really nice out today and I wanted to make a video. So, um, I am a full-time French teacher and a part-time reseller on platforms such as Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, sometimes Facebook Marketplace when I feel like posting over there. It just depends. Anyway, um, I have been cleaning out my aunt's house. So we, my sister and I cleaned up my aunt's house and she lived there for 35 years. She had 35 years to fill up every room in that house so you know we had a big yard sale auction house is supposed to come get a lot of stuff um we donate a lot of stuff and and then you know they know my, my family knows that i'm a reseller so they were like well, what can you you know we think you would like this we think you would like this and um they saved a lot of stuff for me to resell and my plan with this is to take a hundred percent of what i make or 100% of the profit after uh, platform fees and just donate it to her care. Just put it towards her care in the assisted living facility. Um, we just wanna make sure that she has everything she needs. It's a really, it's a really great place for her. So um, we definitely wanna do that. But let's go through this sweater haul. This is why my son says mom i think you're gonna need a deep pop so when i get back from my trip i'm gonna need a deep pop apparently but so as i you know as i've been hauling this stuff showing off this stuff i um i go put it in my workroom so that it's not taking up my living room anymore so i am trying to crank these videos out as much as possible all right sweater number one it zips up it's a mock neck so and it's got this zipper with a little snowflake on it and it's pretty cheesy snowmen snowflakes so um definitely um i won't say definitely vintage actually i will not say that not a name that you know anybody should run out looking for it's actually Something like this would sell more on style. Um, the fact that it looks like something a little old lady would wear. 
And if you like snowmen and you love wearing snowmen, I'm not calling you a little old lady. Um, and it's a 2XL, great size. I uh, am very confident that this will sell. So, I'm gonna, as I'm going, I'm taking things from a garbage bag, folding them and putting them in a, a plastic bin. Hey, editing Jen here. Listen, I did not check comps on these specific sweaters. I cannot stress to you how important it is as a reseller to check your comps. What are things selling for when you're making a choice to purchase things in a store somewhere um, or even like at an outlet? Uh, check your comps so that you know that you're making money at this and not just throwing money at it, right? So I didn't check comps. This stuff was given to me um, and I'm, I'm not sure that I will check comps. I, I um, anticipate that I will list this stuff based on the fact that, you know, sometimes crazy holiday stuff sells. Not necessarily on its name, but on how it looks. So, um, you won't see me posting comps in this video, like comparable prices, what things sold at. Um, I am going by experience on, on what kind of holiday sweaters and things like that sell and not necessarily on the name brand and things like that. So I just wanted to stop really quick, um, in, inject this video, this little, this little short video into my main one of always check your comps, price your things to move. Okay. Price them so that they will sell check your comps and make sure that you are spending your time wisely because your time is worth money okay the time you spend in washing and prepping photographing listing things all of that is money okay because that's your time so make sure that it is worth your time all right back to the regular video that you know I can stack things like that so apparently, it, these either belong to my aunt or my grandmother. Um, there's a lot of a lot of 2X stuff in here. Here is a sweater vest. Oh my gravy! Look at this! Oh my gosh! You just can't appreciate something like this because it's even got it on the back. All right, so it's. Design original studio, do fa la 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 la. That's just fun to say. Another 2X. Alrighty. Um, yeah, so there we go. Snowman. Let's just pull another one out of here. Oh yes, I remember this. So apparently, someone in my existence, either my aunt or my grandmother. So when, you know, I think when my grandmother passed, I know we cleaned out her house and I'm pretty sure that my aunt may have taken a lot of the Christmas stuff. Number one, for nostalgia. I love going to my grandmother's house at Christmas. Um, she just decorated it so much, I mean, just so nicely and fun. She had these tiny little elves that she would hide around the house. And when I went over, she would tell me how many elves were hidden and I would see how, if I could go find them. You know, she said there's six elves hidden in the house. I would run around and find them. I'm pretty sure it was to keep me busy and out of her hair. <laughs> and that's fine. I'll just nerd button this like crazy. Y'all, I am not batting a thousand today. This one's another cardigan and it buttons. And I knew it wouldn't show well if I didn't button it. But... I apparently don't know how to button. So, anyway. It is a cardigan with a lot of Santas. All of these little fuzzy beards. And it's got a hood. Y'all, it has a hood. So, <laughs> it's sweater. Um, it is an extra large. It is Ramian cotton. Now the cool thing about these appliques is that they are partial wool and mohair. 
So yeah, there you go. Um, a Santa sweater. So we're out of the Snowman League and we're into the Santa sweaters. All right, let's check that down there. I took way too much time on that one. I'm gonna have to speed it up. What is this? Another sweater vest. Okay, we're just gonna try to do the top button so that I can like hold it and make it look like something. Oh my God, this has to be by the same person. This, no, it's not. All right, Tiara Women. It's a 1416. Oh, oh my gracious. Oh, it's bears. It's bears at Christmas. Okay, so there you go. A nice little sweater vest. And apparently, this is why I need a Depop. So, woo, Christmas. Um, I have, should I count? Should I count this bag? Let's see, I'm gonna duck out of frame for a minute. So we are at four. That was sweater number four. Hopefully I can keep track of that, y'all. All right, this one, let me button the really, the top button really quick. This feels like wool, big time wool or really cheap acrylic. And it is 100% wool, okay. And it's Orvis, so I have to check this really, really close because she had this stuff, she had it stored in tubs, but there's no telling. All right, yeah, this looks like an Orvis piece, doesn't it? So, Orvis large, very country looking. Um, so yeah, it does have, does have something. I think she had eggs. It's got something spilled on it, something with mustard. <laughs> so yeah. All right, let's go in. Oh my gosh, this woman loved a good sweater vest. A good sweater vest over top of a, I can remember like a long sleeve tee or a long sleeve turtleneck. Um, yeah. Now I can't honestly say that this is vintage anymore because Bobby Brooks is now sold at Family Dollar or Dollar General, one. Can't remember which one. So, but check this out you guys. You see the little schnauzers? Oh, that's hilarious. That, yeah. And it's got some snowflakes on the back. Um, rainy and cotton. So it's an extra large. All right. See, I've already lost count, y'all. I think, guys, I think we're at six. Oh my God, woman, who needs this much cardigans? Who needs this? Nobody, nobody. Hey. Okay. I don't know if I'm gonna get this one buttoned. Um, this is Carolina Colors. It used to be sold at Cato, I believe. Um, remember that store? So Carolina Colors, size 18. 20. It's another cardigan. Here's Santa doing all crazy kind of Santa stuff. More Santas. Yep, he's wacky. Presents on the back. And it's a size 1820. All right. So that should be number seven. That one's heavy. All right. Uh, all right, dang. This one may be, might be vintage. Yet another cardigan with some reindeer and some houses. Reindeer, Santa sleigh, it zips up. This should be sweater number eight. I'm saying it out loud to keep myself on track. Y'all. This woman had so much Christmas stuff, it wasn't even funny. Um, 
so yeah size large all right I may need a coffee break hang tight okay let's keep rolling I remember these were everywhere. Um, what? All right. I'm gonna check the, the fabric content on this so I can give you guys some information. All right, this is viscose and polyester. It's really soft. That's the viscose that usually feels really soft. Don't know anything about that. Again, these are gonna sell based on the fact that they are holiday, okay? but it just says Santa baby. It's a Santa baby, like sweatshirt. It almost feels like terry cloth, but like a super soft terry cloth. So this should be number eight, if I got it right. Or no, that's nine, isn't it? Should be nine. Now my aunt was famous for these. Another Bobby Brooks. Um, and it's a size extra large. She loved a good chambray shirt. <laughs> she loved a good chambray. So this one has reindeer on it. It's even got little holly embroidered on the collar. Here's Santa. So if I took the time to put it all together, it would look like Santa heading across your chest. <laughs> Here we go, chambray shirt. All right, that maybe is nine. I might be off by one or two. Oh Lord. Okay. Not a brand that you need to know. Let's just look at this, this uh, denim vest. Oh Lord. Oh my gosh. Okay, there we go. Size large, 100% cotton. It's beaded, it's bedazzled, it's Santa, it's everything. That should be 10. Oh, God bless America. Please, please, please. Is this reversible? No, I don't, there's no way. All right, so Karen Scott, 100% cotton. This m might, might actually be vintage, guys. It's like velvet. Would you please <clears throat> hold on the inside is all of this like tartan plaid it's the entire inside of this that's why I asked if it was reversible but no it's not um but anyway Pretty nice if you're gonna sing in the choir why don't wear this all right um <laughs> should be 11 oh gosh y'all I think she wore this a lot. No, she did. I don't know if she did. Um, another extra large uh, cardigan, zip up cardigan. I'm gonna try to zip it up really quick so that I can appropriately or accurately show this to you. So it's a Christmas tree. Even better, the little zipper pull has like a light on it. Very nice. Feels like cotton. It's Ramey and cotton. This seemed to be the theme of whenever. So that should be 11. I'm on the right track. What I'll do during um, editing, I'll recount these and let y'all know exactly how many we went through. I just threw one on the ground. Oh gosh, this one I was excited to see because I actually like selling this brand. Now one thing Ma did, she loves her TV. She loves to watch TV. <laughs> and she loves QBC. She loves the Home Shopping Network, shopping from home. And this is Quacker Factory, which she probably bought on one of those channels. And it's a little cardigan. It's a lot of fun. It's got snowflakes and things all over it. We're going with the back here. So yeah, this is right up her alley. Um, the sweater itself is Ramey and Cotton. 
the decorations are nylon and gora and lamb's wool. So, and I knew that because you could feel this and oh my gosh, that feels like heaven. Um, so yeah, there we go. That should be 12. Bending all the way down. This one, your girl hair might be keeping. Um, it is my size. And it is this grumpy old cat. It's sitting with the Christmas tree. Um, so I think I'll keep be keeping this one for me. All right, so but this should be 13. I think we're up to 13. All right, another, yet another cardigan. Oh my God. And another quacker factory cardigan. Why are there buttons on both sides? Oh, do you do it like that? How bizarre. All right, I, I don't know if I'm doing this right. I think it has actual buttons on the inside and decorative buttons on the outside. So I think you button it on the inside so that the decorative buttons look decorative. I don't even know if I'm explaining that right. But it's another Quacker Factory, size large. Another craziest Christmas sweater. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that on YouTube, but I just did. And it's even got this happy reindeer near your butt. <laughs> so is he showing? Yes, he's showing. Um, but so these right here looks like buttons, but it has actual buttons in here. So I'm thinking you button this, you button under so that these just look decorative when you go to wear it. I don't know. Sweater number 14. Okay. What else we got, guys? Ooh, do you see more chambray? Because I do. And I still see that it has the tags on it. Oh, Lord almighty. So this would be dead stock. I'm sure this is not made anymore. Um, but you see that it's got the tag. And it was originally $36. Sweater vest. Or not sweater vest. Chambray or denim vest. With Christmas teddy bears all over it. It's a size large. What is, what is he wearing? He's got on some outfits. I don't know. <laughs> oh, how did she not wear this one? <laughs> so nice. That might be like, is that 16? Are we at 15, 16? I don't know. We're somewhere. Oh, this thing feels so so cheap. Sorry. It's like I touch it and I think it's so flammable or something. <laughs> I'm not even going to show you guys the, the name tag because I don't want anybody to say, oh, I heard that one and I should look for sweaters with that name. So I'm not even going to show you. This thing is 100% acrylic and oh, 97% acrylic and 3% metallic. I don't know what fabric metallic is. I understand that they mean the metallic thread, but people, metallic is not a fabric. Okay, but there you go with this big old jolly snowman and some kind of horn, French horn thingy and some snowflakes. What's on this side? More snowflakes. Guys, this thing just feels cheap. Um, yeah. This looks like it was bought at Dollar Tree. All right. That's the, that's the wish sweater. <laughs> that might be sweater 16, 17. Y'all know I've lost count, but we're on the last sweater. Everybody is saying thank you. Half of y'all probably left already. Um, okay. I see this tag around. I don't pick this brand up unless it's a holiday type thing. Um... Like, and I know I can, I know I can unload it, but there's a bunch of Santas. Oh my gosh, so many Santas in a sweater vest. Oh my God, that is a lot of Santas. These are usually well-made sweaters because a lot of that is embroidered in. 
Um, but it's just, you know, I don't know. It's not my thing. Not my thing. So there we go. That was all of them. That was a size 1820, another sweater vest. That was the first half of the sweaters. Um, the second half. in a huge suitcase is probably close to the same number so this is why my son said mom I think you're gonna have to start a depop he said that this stuff should go well on depop so here's what I would love to hear from you if you're watching do you have a depop do you list on it and what what experience um I will wash wash all this it's been in storage for god knows how long and um i curious to know if I, you know, I feel like it would sell on eBay, Poshmark, Macari. I feel like it would sell on my, my three regulars. Do I go for the Depop also and see what I can um, do there? Let me know your experience down below and look for, you know, the next few videos. I, I think I'll break this up. I got purses and shoes which will come, you know, which will be one video and then one more set of sweaters. And then that'll be the end of the series. I'm trying to crank them out before I leave on Wednesday. Um, so what I'll probably do is purses and shoes as video four and the last video be the next set of sweaters. So thank you for watching today. If this type of content interests you, reseller content, please, I would love it if you subscribe down below and like my video if you like this video. Um, please give it a, a thumbs up, um, subscribe to the channel. I do try to put out at least one video a week. I've been a little bit slacking because my son is in town from Minnesota. I only get to see him once a year. So I'm spending a lot of time with him and spending a lot of time getting ready for this trip. I'm taking 17 students. Well, they're not all students. Some of them are student parents or parents of my students. We're taking them to France and Spain for two weeks. Um, so am I insane? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but I love traveling with kids. We're going to have a great time. So I've been, I've been doing that. I've been spending time with my son and, um, I just haven't been putting out videos as much as I normally would, but I would love it if you subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Until then, a tout à l'heure. See you later.